The gameplay of Assassin's Creed Jade has been leaked on the internet and many big YouTubers, primarily Assassin's Creed YouTubers like AC Videos and Nexaterra Gaming are covering this gameplay on their channels. And a huge shout out to all of those YouTubers because I'm using their gameplay in my videos, so a huge shout out to all of you. So after watching the gameplay, I have some thoughts on the game. I didn't expect it much from this game considering that this game was a mobile game back when it was announced in September of 2022. Also Ubisoft wasn't the one that was developing this game. It was developed by a completely different studio known as Tencent Games and if you know or have played any mobile game like PUBG Mobile then you'll probably know what I'm talking about. And after seeing the gameplay, I have some thoughts that I would like to share with you in this video. So the first thing that came into my mind after watching the gameplay is the gameplay itself. It felt too similar to the previously released RPG games, mainly Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And there are several similarities between Assassin's Creed Odyssey and this game that I will share with you now. Starting off, we have no hidden blade, and this thing wasn't present in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which was the first game in the whole franchise to not feature the iconic weapon, but this game is the second to not feature the hidden blade. And there's a canonical reason for this because the hidden blades weren't made public to all of the people until Assassin's Creed Origins, and since this game takes place roughly 150 years before Assassin's Creed Origins, so this is canonically right. The second similarity aside from the no hidden blade thing is no assassins or no hidden ones at all. This also ties in with my previous point which said that this game takes place years before Assassin's Creed Origins so the chances of seeing hidden ones are probably zero or none at all because the hidden ones weren't created until Assassin's Creed Origins in ancient Egypt. Aside from the major similarities, there are some minor similarities as well in the gameplay that you can notice. Starting off, we have some of the reused assets from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Origins, and Valhalla, which is pretty obvious because this is an RPG game, and since it's a mobile game, so developers didn't put much effort into making new assets from the ground up. Maybe they made a few, but they were less as compared to the reused assets, which we can see in the gameplay here and there. The combat and the level up system is also taken from Odyssey and Origins, so we can expect something similar to that and I hate this thing but since it's an RPG game what can we say? So, so far so good, we can say that this game is kind of Assassin's Creed Odyssey, but it's light version made for mobile for the players who didn't play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But it isn't a problem at all for me because as long as this game stays true to the lore and also if it introduces us to a majority of amazing characters, then I'm all in for this game. Because all that I want from this game is to deliver an amazing story. And I think the story will be amazing considering that they're taking an already existing and established assassin in the franchise and telling his story. So let's wait and see how the story will be and how it will turn out. Another thing that I noticed in the trailer was the voice of the NPCs. The NPCs in this game are voiced by AI and many people are angry after hearing or after seeing this. You guys are getting angry over something that will be changed later in the future. There are two particular reasons for that. Reason number one is that this game is still in its development stage. There are a lot of things that are still to be added in the game. The developers will add new things every single day after hearing the feedback from the beta testers. And the second reason could be that this gameplay that you're seeing right now might have been a few months old and the developers have made a lot of progress right now because we don't know from which version this gameplay is taken maybe it's the latest version maybe it's an entirely older version we don't know yet but one thing is for certain that the developers will definitely improve upon every criticism that this game has got till now also this is ubisoft's first big assassin's creed game on mobile assassin's creed identity was great but that game didn't have any actual story it was just for fun it just used the maps featured in the previous games and just offered us multiplayer but this game i think it will hold up or it will live up to its expectations also the story for this game and the animations are similar to the rpg games as i mentioned before but this doesn't mean that this game won't be good this game may look like assassin's creed odyssey but a lot of people will play it as well because first things first this game will be on mobile a lot of the players don't have consoles or good pcs so they will definitely download this game to feel the assassin's creed experience or what's left of it anyway uh, never mind let's go back to the topic and 
as I was saying, since this game is in mobile, a lot of the players will download it and Ubisoft will take full advantage of that to include microtransactions. They will include level up boosters, they will include unique armor sets, which will be reskin versions of the armor sets that are already in the game but with different stats. This is what Ubisoft is doing for the past 5 or 6 years ever since Assassin's Creed Origins. And now they have a full right to do that because this is a mobile game and they know that better than anybody that mobile games offer a lot of money in terms of microtransactions because they are people who are willing to pay their every single penny for cheap armor sets in the game. But I'm not here to discuss any of that, I'm here to do a deep analysis of the gameplay and everything that's in the game. So getting back into the video, we just learned that this game won't have controller support. Well, it doesn't have controller support right now at the moment. Maybe this feature will be added once they release this game officially on the App Store or the Play Store or in any other store that they're planning to release this game on. Because having a controller support in this game will make the gameplay a lot easier because some people like me who have sweaty hands will have a hard time playing this game. And since I want to play this game, I will have a hard time playing this game with my fingers. So if they add controller support, it will be much appreciated. Now let's move on to parkour the parkour that we saw in this gameplay in this particular gameplay is minimum but the animations look a lot more smoother if we look at this particular animation this animation looks identical to the ones that were featured in the kenway saga like assassin's creed 3 assassin's creed 4 and assassin's creed rogue then another animation like this one is taken directly from assassin's creed valhalla and assassin's creed unity i can't tell let me know what you think so the parkour for this game will be different and unique at the same time. They have taken animations for different and previous Assassin's Creed games, which is a good thing because parkour is the thing that was lacking in the RPG games. And this was pretty much it that we got from parkour. Everything else looks stiff, but since this game is still in its development stage, so we can expect some improvements until its launch. As far as the combat goes, then we don't have anything new in the combat. The combat looks exactly the same. You just had to push one button and your character will just fight until the enemy's health run out it's the same as the previous rpg games and this was pretty much it for the combat and the parkour exploration looks good and similar to the previous games there are several locations that we uncover when we go near them like the question marks that were in the rpg games are back in this game as well and i kind of like those things so i'm happy to see them return if they add a unique armor like the one in the original games then i will love that thing as well because a unique armor will encourage the players to play the game and complete side activities in assassin's creed origins they did that with the isu armor and i would like to see them do something similar with this game as well but my hopes are pretty much low about this thing because it's a mobile game i doubt they will add that now let's talk a little bit about the story as far as i know this game will feature an already existing character which was already featured in assassin's creed 2 sanctuary it's none other than wei yu i'm sorry if i pronounced that name wrong and he was mentioned in assassin's creed 2 as well we even visited his tomb in assassin's creed 2. now he was responsible for assassinating the first chinese emperor and that's why he was so famous and that's why his statue was built in the sanctuary he is not an assassin so he will count as a proto-assassin and that's pretty much it about the story that's what we learned so far now if i'm to give my honest thoughts about this game then i must say this game looks definitely similar to odyssey but on mobile many people who are on mobile haven't played odyssey but they'll now have the chance to play an assassin's creed game similar to odyssey on their mobile and that's why it will have a lot of downloads ubisoft is kind of bankrupt right now so they're putting their best efforts on assassin's creed and right now their best bet is to release an assassin's creed game similar to their console games on mobile players will not hesitate to download this game and in return they will get a lot of downloads and money in the process because if you look mobile games are the ones that make a lot of money because technically they are free and they will add microtransactions as well further increasing their campaign and that's why they made a full-on assassin's creed game on mobile in an attempt to gain a lot of fans and money and i see nothing wrong with that unless they don't overdo the microtransaction thing but if they keep it in a balance like you don't need microtransactions to progress further in the story then it's completely fine and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed my detailed analysis about this game and my personal thoughts about this game if you guys have any other suggestions about this game or any other thoughts about this game then please let me know in the comment section i read every comment and i try to reply to all 
all of you guys. Also, watch my previous videos. I hope you'll enjoy them as well. And I'll see you guys in another interesting video. Till then, take care and goodbye.